Hey, what's right. happening, folks? Back at it with another video, and today I'm gonna go in and show you guys something that I've been talking about, and I, you know, I don't remember if I ever shown you guys my 86, 87 Fleer basketball collection. Um, I'm trying to put this set together, and I've been trying for like, I don't know, probably years. Uh, for the last couple of years, ever since I got back into the hobby. Uh, that's one thing for sure, as many of you guys don't know, but I did mention this in a different video. Um, I do have a Jordan rookie that I acquired along with another one. Now, I have only one left, but back then in the days of, I don't know, I was like maybe, I wouldn't say seven, maybe eight years old. I, don't, I can't remember, but um, we went to like a Goodwill store and ended up buying a box of 86 Lure basketball with only half, I don't know, maybe half the packs left, or maybe less than only 12 packs, I think it was, around that range, and I ended up pulling two Jordan rookie cards, and, um, you know, one of them ended up in a yard sale, the other one ended up, you know, for grading, that's after years and years and years when I found out how much the cards were, you know, worth, and of course, uh, the card, it's in really bad shape, I don't have it with me right now, it is back at home, I will um, try to get in contact with my SoCal I just call it SoCal. Let's call it Westside Connections, shall we? Uh, Westside Connections. Uh, so I, you know, we can get a ship over here. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, I have a quite a number of cards sitting back there, uh, back at home, and um, you know, a lot of them are baseball. I wouldn't say some football. Uh, I can't remember on top of my head if I have some basketball. One thing I do want to, I want to say this, and I'm sure I'm gonna get uh, quite of maybe hate, I don't know if I will or not, but I, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to admit that I actually shredded some basketball cards. I can't remember who I shredded. <laughs> I was really, I mean, I was little. I was like, I don't know, maybe eight years old, and I'm sure some of you guys know, oh, at that age, you should know better. I'm sure some kids now do, especially in the hobby, know better. How to treat the cards, you know, their parents tell them how to protect the cards. I've seen it, you know, I've gone to the stores, you know, the uh, local car shops, and there's the parents, you know, uh, schooling these kids about how to treat the cards, which is awesome. Because I, you know, me growing up, I really, my parents really didn't even know anything about the cards, or, you know, they're like, oh, I mean, of course, they were sports cards, but they knew some of the players were, but they really didn't lecture me on how to treat them and, and everything, so maybe if they did, it, my card, you know, my Jordan rookie would have been, I don't know, maybe a, a, a Gen Mint, who knows, <laughs> but other than that, I do want to show you, guys, show you guys this, and like I said, I will be doing an update once I get that card, and also, uh, I think I, I missed like 15, maybe more, like close to 30 cards or something, maybe more more than that so and these are all in chronological order so uh, I think this is the first one it's the Karim Abdul Jabbar as you guys can see it's in really good shape really awesome card man look at those stats I mean the stats but the uh, information holy crap that's a lot of years may not seem like it, but to me, it's like you rarely find that these days on basketball cards. I put all the stats on there. So that's Kareem on there, and then we have Alvin Adams. It's the second card. I'm not going to go through all numbers or anything. I'm just... This way, a lot of these cards, I actually purchased them from a um, former LCS, which was... Uh, three-star sports cards. Also, I did pick up some from like a 10 cent box and at a different store, a local car shop. Uh, I want to say Papa Hawks. And then some of them from Ultimate Collectibles as well were, were obtained. Um, really awesome. I asked uh, Shane if I could buy some cards. He had a, quite a number of... I mean, he had like two, three complete sets in really great shape, so that was pretty awesome. Mark... I know a lot of people say Aguirre, but I say Aguirre just because it's Spanish, and he's from he does have Spanish descent, so I 
say Gire. That's the third card, and then the eighth card, or sixth card, I should say. Uh, it's a Thorough Bailey. So as you guys can see, I'm missing some cards. Uh, number four, number five. I think that would be Danny Ainge and John Beckley. Um, Benoit, ben Benoit Benjamin. Larry Bird. <laughs> It's really beat up. I really wish I had a better, uh, you know, better condition looking card of Larry Bird. But for now, this is, you know, I'll live for now. Just with this one, it's fine. Not a big deal, but as you guys can see, there's a crease on the bottom. The edges are pretty rough. Uh, wire corners, and I mean, there's another crease over here in the corner on the left. There's some printing, I think there's some print issues as well. But other than that, still a pretty good card. Otis Bird Song, Orlando Blackman, Sam Bowie. Sam, is that, what is that? Oh, it was just a price tag. Uh, Joe Barry Carroll, Mo Cheeks. Michael Cooper and uh, back then I know that uh, a lot of a lot of the guys you know like basketball like didn't you know they were rookies but they didn't put like the rookie logo I think that was more like a top thing um, but Fleer didn't actually do that so can't really tell who are the rookies I mean unless you know the players really well or you just read the back on here so Wayne Cooper uh, Pat Cummings, so a lot of his cards are in really great shape, which I'm really happy happy about. Uh, there was a few that I picked up, like I said, from a Tencent box, and they had creases and really rough shape, which I ended up replacing and got some uh, mint better condition ones. Like, I think this was, the Adrian Dantley was one of them, and I put them in a binder, but these, this is like the replacement that I got for those cards. Like the original one that I got was really really bad shape So this is a new one um, Brad Davis Walter Davis Daryl Dawkins Larry Drew Clyde the Glide Mark Eaton James Edwards Alex English Jillis Irvin Dr. J It's Really off center, but it's in really good shape. So, um, Vern Fleming, Eric Floyd. I think that's Sleepy Floyd. Uh, Where I'll Be Free. I think this was another one that I got in really rough shape, so I ended up replacing it with this one. George uh, Gerben, or just Gilmore, Mike Gaminski. Uh, Got more. But wait, there's more. Ricky Green, Sydney Green, Dave Greenwood, Daryl Griffith, Bill Hanslick. A lot of these guys didn't play for a long, a long time, maybe less than ten years. Cheryl Henderson. Got all of these action photos. Just, I mean, these layups and. A lot of uh, I, I kind of feel like players didn't slam dunk back then that much. Maybe I'm I'm wrong. I, I mean I've seen a couple uh, uh, games you know like on YouTube like from back then in the 80s and didn't do that that much. Uh, Roy Henson. It's really wow, really off centered. Can you imagine getting a? I mean it really doesn't matter if you get a Jordan rookie. As long as it's in great shape, and but if it's off center like that, uh, I'm like, man, it is what it is. Oh, do you have two of them? Okay, it's weird. I don't know how much you're getting two of them. I think this one's much in a little much better shape. This one here, so um, Craig Hodges, Phil Hubbard, Jay Humphreys, Dennis Johnson. Eddie Johnson, Frank Johnson, a lot of Johnsons, Marcus, Marcus Johnson, Steve Johnson, dude, what the, 
Vinny Johnson. That was a lot of Johnsons. Oh, there's my Magic Johnson. Okay. I was looking for this card. I'm like, I could have sworn, because I took a pile of uh, Laker cards out, and I, I'm like, I could have sworn I had a Magic Johnson card. Um, but yeah, this is Magic. As you guys can see, there's a little damage on the top. It is not the top loader. It's actually the card, so... That sucks, but other than that, it's pretty good shape, you know. Really awesome card, in my opinion. So there it is. Clark Kellogg. I used, I used to think this guy was part of the Lakers. Like, I mean, look at that uniform. Doesn't that look a little bit identical to the Lakers? Just a little bit. So, Clark Kellogg had a, he had a short career. Um, I did a lot of research on these guys. I remember, I mean, this was a long time ago, so. Uh, Albert King, Bernard King, Bill Lambeer, um, Alan Lavelle, Lafayette, uh, liver, is that Fat Liver? I think it is. Alton Linster, uh, Louis Lloyd, Maurice Lucas, Jeff Malone. Carl Malone. I think this was second year. Hmm. Uh, Moses Malone. Cedric Maxwell. Rodney McRae. Xavier McDaniel. Kevin McHale. Uh, Mike Mitchell. Sidney Moncrief. Johnny Moore. Larry Nance Sr. A lot of you guys probably don't know this, so if you're, you know, just, I know there's some people stepping into basketball and the whole uh, training card gig, but this guy is uh, father of Larry Nance Jr., he's currently in the NBA, uh, Calvin Natt, Norm Nixon, Charles Oakley, bad boy Charles Oakley, back in his prime, Louis Orr, Robert Parrish, he was in the NBA for a long time. Such a long time. Uh, Jim Paxson, Sam Perkins, and we got more, more cards. Ricky Pierce, Paul Pressey, Kurt Rambis, Robert Reed, Alfred Robinson, Robertson, Cliff Robinson, Wayne Rollins, Dan Roundfield, Jeff Rollins. Ralph Sampson, Dan Shays, another Dan Shays, Byron Scott in the house, Purvis Short, Jerry Sitchney, I think it is, Jack Sigma. I honestly don't remember a lot of these guys. <laughs> um, Derek Smith, Larry Smith, Robert Sparrow, Steve Stepanovich, uh, Terry Teagle. Richard Theus, LaSalle uh, Thompson, Michael Thompson, Sadell Threat, I think he played for the Lakers too. Oh yeah, so these are, I think I didn't replace this because I, like I said, I took out some of them from these um, sleeves or top loader things, savers, um, and put them in the binders, so I don't think I have replaced these yet. I should. Wayman Tisdale. Andrew uh, Tony, Kelly Trapica, uh, Melvin Turpin, Kiki Van Dateway, thank you, just, Jay Vincent, Bill Walton, and Spot Wet. You guys think that's it? No, there's there's more cards. I think I'm missing also Lakers pile. Could be wrong. Uh, Gerald Wick, uh, Wilkins. Buck Williams, Gus Williams, Herb Williams, Kevin Wells, he was also in the NBA for a long time. I think he finally retired like somewhere in the mid 2000s. Or early 2000s, but closer to like 20, uh, 2006 or something. 5, 6. Uh, Randy Whitman, Al Wood, Mike Woodson, Orlando Woolrich. And I think that's it, so that's uh, pretty much it for that. Um, I 
Don't see the other cards. I did have a stack. I'll be right back. Okay, so I found the cards. I put them in the back somewhere. Uh, James Worthy, this is the other one. And I got this from the Laker box. Um, Michael Cooper, Kurt Rambis, Marcus Lucas, and Byron Scott. He went to my uh, my old high school. So, pretty awesome. Um, like I said, I'm trying to complete the set. Um, it's it's kind of it's kind of been hard, you know, to find uh, cards in good shape, especially these days. And um, yeah, so I'm missing Danny Ainge. Uh, John Backley, Charles Barkley, um, Missing, Minute Bow, uh, looks like Tom Chambers, I'm missing as well, uh, who else, Joe Dumars, uh, cart number 32, that would be Vern Fleming, no, I'm sorry, Patrick Ewing, uh, number 44, that's Derek Harper. And number 77. Who's going to be uh, Chris Mullen, rookie card. Number 82. Uh, it came to Dream one rookie card as well, missing. Um, 91, Doc Rivers, rookie card. I love these guys were rookies. Uh, number 109. Who is that? I see a Thomas, another rookie card. And 121 and 132. 121, it's Dominic Wilkins. And 132 is a checklist. And then the stickers, which is 1 through 11. So that's a lot of cards. I'm still missing. Um, yeah, that's a lot of cards, dude. And dude, that's. It's going to take. You know, it'll take a while. Wouldn't take more than a year, of course, but. Um, yeah. I'll keep you guys posted on the update. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You don't see this every day, you know, people posting um, all their vintage cards like this. Um, but, you know, this is what I'm here for. You know, always uh, trying to, you know, make this channel a little more like the. A little bit of everything. I know I started off with uh, uh, breaking like a lot of older stuff, and then I kind of got into the new stuff. Uh, then hobby, you know, as we know, got really expensive and everything, and I'm like, oh man. Um, so I'm more like kind of leaning into retail, but right now I'm kind of like in in a lockdown situation where I can't buy any cards in retail uh, because of COVID. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of hard. But other than that, I'll keep you guys posted with everything, and uh, hope you guys enjoy this one. Take it easy, guys.